Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be looking back at our SQLite series. And today we are going to be looking at primary key. And a primary key is just that. It is a key, and it is primary. There's a second one, we'll deal with that later. But what this does is it increments every input continuously, automatically. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So that's why if you're new here, thanks for joining us, but make sure you are hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell, because this is what we do. We take one topic and we build upon it and we go on from there. So all right, we're gonna be creating a different database, SQL.connect. We're just gonna call this uh, sample. And then we're also going to address a problem that has been happening, and we will deal with that. So we need a cursor object, con cursor. Okay, so now we need to create our database, right? And this is where everything happens. Execute. So we'll go slow. We're gonna we're gonna take more than one line. So we're gonna do this with our triple. All right. So create table now we're gonna call it my table now here's here's where it starts all right our primary key is gonna be ID and we're gonna it's gonna be an integer if I spell it right and this is how you do it primary key that simple all right, then we're just gonna call this uh, then column one, and it's gonna be an integer as well, and then column two, also an integer. All right, close that out. One, two, three, and then close that out. Boom. And con dot commit con dot close. There we are. Let's go ahead and run this. And we are going to use our so that's been created. We're just gonna bring this up this way and we're gonna sort and there's our sample. And here we are. So now browse. And if we look right here, primary key, column integer, integer. So okay, everything looks pretty good right here. So now, now let's utilize it. And we are gonna have one little bit of a problem. If we run this again, what's gonna happen? We're going to throw an error. Why? Because that table already exists. So we need to solve this. Try. Uh, I can never remember. Bracket and then accept. Pass. All right. So now we're going to use some of our other things and we're just going to throw this in here. I'll put this down in the comment. Excuse me in the description. And then we will copy this cuz the three times I was type typing this in. So all right. Now we've seen this before, so we'll go over it again. So we need to execute many. And the reason why is cuz I want to show you that the primary key is going to take care of things for us. So I'm actually, we have three, and we saw here, in our table, one, two, three, but we're only writing to our column one and our column two. Column one, column two. But our primary key is gonna take care of it for us. So all right, uh, let's 
run this. There we go. Pull this back up. And as we can see right here, our ID auto increments for us. And our values have gone in. And we can see right here, one and three. Let's make sure you can see that. Okay. One and three, five and three, four and eight. And our ID has auto incremented up each interval. So there we go. Very powerful tool, very important tool for you to have. It is highly advised that when you are building a database, you have a primary key and whatever <clears throat> you want to think about it and stick to it because now we're going to have multiple tables and we're going to need to have a reference point. Okay? And then that is that is vital. So all right, there we go. So as always, please, please, please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests below, and I'll get right to them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.